Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sami. I have pinned a number 2023 and got 46.2 marks. Today, I'm going to list down a best strategy that you need to follow in your IMAT exam to get higher score. So this is the uh, skill or this is the strategy that will make your options or your exam very very easier at least 70 percent that make made me for, for me and if you follow i think it will absolutely make it for you so the strategy is very very simple as we all know that i am at exam is pen and paper ways and this is the edge that we ever get that from grade first till uh, grade 12 we were practicing or we were giving exam paper based pen paper based so now if the at the time of i met exam we handed over with uh, one question paper and one answer sheet so on question paper there are 60 questions written and on answer sheet we have got blanks or the answer sheet are uh, blocks for putting our answers so now what we need to do is that the strategy that we need to follow is on question paper so the strategy is very simple uh, that i followed in my exam and i will recommend you to follow through in your exam too so this strategy is just to minimize your options and uh, now let me explain what i'm saying so try to minimize your options as we know that imet has got five options in each and every question uh, if you do not know about uh, imet then check out the video description there will be link that uh, you can read uh, all about imet so you will be given with each question there will be five um, options that in which one will be right option so what happens is that you just need to click one right option let me explain there are five options and the chance of correcting option is just 20 percent like five there are five and out of 100 there is 20 percent each option so you will be going to select one option and if uh, you are going to choose from five options it means that it is uh, you have got 20 percent a chance to pick up the right answer so now how minimizing will work for example you have five options now what you need to do is that try to minimize the options as much as you can for example the here are five now if you minimize one option out of five now you have got remaining four options so now you have got uh, 25 percent chance to choose the right option because you are now focusing on four options now if you can happen to minimize two options now you have got three options left uh, you are going to pick uh, your correct options out of these three so if uh, now it means that you have got 33.3 percent chance of picking right option now if you somehow manage to minimize two for three options now you have got left two options it means that Picking up correct option is the chance of picking up correct option is 50%. So this is how minimization will work. You will be thinking that minimizing during exam is very very hard. No, it's very very easy actually. Mm, but it takes actually a lot of practice and lots of grip on your IMAT preparation. Because if you do not know about knowledge, uh, if you do not have proper knowledge, how you are going to minimize the option? Uh, so that's the tricky part and if you somehow manage to like minimize i bet you your 70 percent uh, problem will be solved and you will get maximum higher marks so let me uh, quickly give a real-time example on my screen so let's go to screen and see how this minimizing will minimization will work so here we have got an option uh, we have got a question that says which one of the following does not contain amino acids so now we have got five options so now what you need to do is that you need to minimize the options so how we are going to do that first of all we need to understand what is amino acid so amino acids are the building blocks of protein i have explained in my i this is a very actually basic concept and i have explained in my i syllabus uh, class you can watch uh, from the link below uh, in video description but anyway uh, here for example how minimization will work so you what you need to do is that you now you have to minimize the options so how you are going to do that is that first of all understand the question for example which one of the following does not contain a minor as well, i need to pick the option so let's uh, read first of all read the five options a b c d e uh, the first option is cell membranes and we know that if we know the com composition of cell membrane cell membrane is composed up of lipids then proteins and uh, yeah, lipids and proteins. 
in addition there are like glycogen um, carbohydrate uh, glycolipids glycoprotein that is the uh, basic basic uh, component of cell membrane so it means that it do contain protein so it means protein is composed of, of amino acid so it do contains uh, amino acid so just uh, cross it and though the next option is amylose now if you do not know about amylose just left it and go to another option although amylose is a sugar but let's say uh, we do not know about amylose then next go to viruses so now we know that viruses contains capsid and that is their capsid is composed up of protein uh, that we call as capsomere uh, just it means that viruses do contain amino acid we just to try to hide it and then we have got enzymes if you know that enzymes are actually protein that's the definition of enzyme enzymes are totally completely protein so it means that enzyme do contain amino acid proteins are the uh, are made up of amino acids by linking peptide bonds so in enzyme do contain proteins just deselect it now it means that we have got two option left amylose and antibodies amylose now we have got 50% chance of making correct option so either we are going to put if we are going to put b it means that we have got 50% chance and if we are going to put e that means 50 50 so now let's go to antibodies if you have studied that there is a whole chapter in i am at uh, immunity and in immunity antibodies are completely made up of protein amino acids so it means that there are like uh, four uh, four chains four chains uh, amino antibodies contain i think uh, y and two horizontal this do contain sulfur bridges so i know by sulfur bridges that am um, antibodies contain amino acid that's the basic thing because in antibodies antibodies has got whole chapter topic in uh, immunity so antibodies contain uh, amino acid so i just deselected now it means that i have got one option left and that's the true option we do not have any other option so this is how this strategy works and this is the only way how you can get maximum mark so let's if we solve another question that is which one of the following is found below the diaphragm in a human so first of all we need to understand what is diaphragm so diaphragm is the this region uh, from chest uh, where our chest ends where our lungs ends actually where our um, uh, what is this uh, ribs ribs and that's the our abdomen uh, sorry abdomen diaphragm Uh, that helps in our uh, inspiration and exhalation during breathing that helps in breathing so what is saying which one of the following is found below the diaphragm so we need to mark the option that is below the diaphragm out oh, where chest cavity ends that's the diaphragm uh, first of all in my high school i was thinking uh, the diaphragm is our abdomen but i was false during amet i came to know that not now i bet you and i and I, i swear i just like when i was preparing for amet uh, my sister told me that uh, diaphragm is this chest cavity where ends i was thinking this is the uh, abdomen is that anyway so now we need to find what is what lies below diaphragm so uh, let's go with heart so we know that heart is here on left left side of chest cavity uh, so heart is above the diaphragm lungs are just a little bit low although the uh, where um, the right uh, right sorry yeah the right uh, left one or right one yeah left one where left one ends uh, here is the conical shape of a uh, heart so heart is above the diaphragm so we are going to uh, cross it and minimize it and then we have got pulmonary vein you know that pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein helps in uh, transport of blood uh, in this is the like heart has got two circulation systemic circulation and uh, pulmonary circulation in pulmonary circulation heart revolves from uh, a, a heart from blood revolves from heart to lungs and lungs to heart so now pulmonary vein to pulmonary vein mm, con, uh, takes blood from lungs to heart and pulmonary, pulmonary artery contains conveys blood from heart to lungs so uh, it means that they lies uh, just above the heart so just these left these pulmonary artery and now we have got two options now we have got 50% chance of marking the correct option marking the correct option liver and alveoli and now if you analyze what uh, what is the liver so i i swear i do not know the position of liver at all i do not know the position of uh, liver so but i do know where alveoli are so 
alveoli are the um, you know, grapes like bunches in lungs that are the functional unit uh, for uh, oxygen transportation uh, yeah from lungs to uh, veins or arteries and veins to heart to uh, carbon dioxide out and oxygen in so that's the function of our alveoli mm, now i know that uh, where lungs it is in lung so lungs are above the uh, diaphragm so i'm going to deselect this alveoli and now we have got just one option that is liver and yeah liver is the correct option so this was i am a 20, 20 uh, 2013 past paper i just uh, randomly selected it so this is how you can get high marks in i minimizing options has got an other big uh, advantage is that it helps your brain to do not focus on other options so your brain is more focused and you are going to get um, uh, with less brain power more higher results so first uh, let's say for example uh, somehow you manage to delete two options out of five and now you have got remaining three options just draw bigger circles or lines like i have did in, on my screen just draw on paper with the pen you will have pen just uh, cut it and now it means that your brain is not going to focus on irrelevant options your brain is just going to focus on the other three options that are left uh, so this helps your brain to focus uh, more distractions are removed it has got little content to focus from vast content it has got just narrow down the uh, content it will just uh, get you will get better results so that's the thing and in this strategy there are the one more thing that you can add is just like uh, read the statement question statement and try to encircle the demanding thing like keyword just highlight the keyword what the question examiner is asking you for example if he is asking for wrong statement just highlight the wrong one so the wrong so that you can uh, your brain could automatically focus on that you need to find wrong statement in the below options because first of all in exam you will have got tons of pressure stress anxiety so this will be very um, difficult for you to focus or analyze you will get mistake and then you will have just regret now you would be saying that no i'm very cool i'm uh, great i would do uh, i know that i can do this I bet you in an examination hall, uh, you will be uh, like under uh, a big 2-3 tons of pressure. Yeah, 2-3 tons of pressure. I know that. The anxiety because you will have limited time and huge question paper. You need to solve in a very little time. So uh, first of all, during your preparation, do practice a lot, lot, lot so that in exam you can like do it very quickly and um, just do, don't become cool just uh, just listen to advice and i i don't know why i'm saying that i i'm giving the best advice no i'm not giving a best advice but i'm just uh, trying to share my experience this is the strategy that helped me to get 46.2 and um, uh, if i i say that if i would have less the uh, anxiety or pressure i would have got 50 60 plus uh, i know that i i was very very stressed i know that i can say right now so that was the thing that i wanted to share if you want to follow just uh, go ahead if you have enjoyed the video then do subscribe to this channel and hit the like button so just for al algorithm and uh, if you are new to imat preparation then you might love to check out this video this playlist of my imat 22 uh, imat syllabus explanation uh, of th there are three master classes physics chemistry and biology and uh, that is very very well uh, valuable uh, i have uh, these are very lengthy actually and i have explained each and everything so just go ahead and watch them and just double your imat understanding uh, so thank you for watching see you in next video till bye bye